Hello everyone! These boxes are from my last video. If you haven't watched it, I'll have the link down below where I teach how to make these lids on Scan and & Cut. And since I taught you how to make the lids, I am going now to teach you how to make the box itself, the little tiny boxes. So I'll have the link for this video below and today what I'm going to teach you is how to actually calculate depending on what you have, what your gift is, the size of the boxes you need and how to create it in two different ways. The first one is this one which is simple and you can use most times because it does depend on how big the box is and the difference is that this one is not reinforced. This one is just one layer of paper, but I'll teach you how to make that because sometimes you have to make it this way and I'll teach you ways to how to reinforce inside and out. The other one is, and see, that's how I made this one. So it's much bigger and when you have the need for a bigger box, and you have a certain size, I mean our limitation is usually 12 by 12, right? So you have to make it that way, but if you can and if you have enough paper, I am going to teach you how to create a reinforced box, which has actually, to see the side here, it's folded over, so it's reinforced and it doesn't show the paper inside, so you don't see those flaps. But it depends. It depends on what you're going to make and the size that you need. So I'm going to teach you today how to calculate the size of the paper, how to create the, the box. Depending on what you have, I actually show you how to do it for this, how to do it for this, how to make a square. But anyway, I am going to teach you today how to make boxes, how to make the lid, which will perfectly fit your box like this and have this... In, this little cut here because it makes it easier to open otherwise it's hard but I'll make you I'll teach you different ways on making boxes you will learn everything you know everything you need I mean to create boxes in any size you need so if you already know how to make the basic one skip over to the reinforced part because they are quite different let me just show you the template here. This is the template for the reinforced one and that's what I'm going to teach you today, okay? You are going to love it and from today on, you're gonna have to promise me that every time you have a gift, you are not buying gift boxes anymore. You are actually going to create your own. And this one is not even, I usually do a lot of, um, I would never make a box just like this. It's beautiful, it's very nice paper, but I would create something else. I would add some kind of ornament, some kind of um, embellishment. May maybe I would use something like this. I don't know, but I would, I would add something to it. But today, that's not the point. This is not what we're doing today. Today, I'm teaching you how to create your own boxes, okay? So, let's get to the video and let's learn. We will start with the basic box that is not reinforced. We will go the first part of the video. I'll show you how to create this box and I'll explain what all of this is. Well, if you know already how to make this one and just want to skip to the part where I teach you how to make the lid and the base, but reinforced, which is this one here, Looks complicated, but it's not really. You get used to it really fast. You can just scroll, go through the video. It's time stamped, so you'll be able to see where I start that part of the video, okay? But anyway, the basic lidded box go, looks something like this. If it's a square, basically, basically what you need is to know the width of the box that you need, the height of the box and the depth of the box. This is the side, right? Because this is basically what you do after you know all these measurements and you cut. What you do is you cut it like this and I will I will go through it, but I just wanted to show you. This is basically it. Very simple. You're just going to glue the sides like this and that's that. You have the box. 
very easy to make. The other one, it, it has two, it's like a double side, so you fold over. It makes it much sturdier. But you do sometimes have to make it this way because of the size of the paper, depending on the size of the box you want to make. So that's, that's the limitation you have. It's actually the size of the box, depending on whether or not you have enough paper for that, okay? So let's make one. And let's, let me just teach you the measurements that you need. Let's say you want to make something. This is a present a friend, my friend just gave me. What you need to know is the height, the width of whatever you're going to put inside the box, and then the side, which is the depth that you need, right? So in this case, I just want to show you an example. In this case here, let me see if you can, if you can tell. Three inches would be enough, which would go up to here. See? Three inches would be the width. The height would be, I always leave a little wiggle room, just a little bit, not much, because you don't want it moving around the box. But for this one, five would be enough. And then the side, as you can see here, like uh, maybe one, one inch. I think one inch would do, but I would give it a little bit more. So one, one, one and a half, maybe. Yeah, one and a half, because this is heavy, I would probably put something underneath because this is quite heavy but anyway that's what you need to measure so what we're going to do now is I'm going to make the box just one detail here and I actually have two examples this one is a square so all I needed here was four inches this one is four inches one and one that's the the width here the the depth so the side would be one that's a square one, very simple to make. This is another one, just to show you that it really, it just changed the sizes. This one is three by four, again one here on the side. So you would make a rectangular one. And I will also show you the difference between, see the flaps here? Usually this is how we make it. You just go to one side, but what happens when you do it like this? is that you're going to reinforce two sides here because you're going to have like a double layer of paper. You reinforce two and this one is going to be quite flimsy, see? Which you can fix later and I'll give you some ideas. But the way to fix this, and this is how I make my boxes, but it's pre you know personal preference. Instead of cutting on both sides, always on the same side, I just uh, I do one for each side. See, instead of cutting here, I would cut here and to this side and then to this side and then to this side. It's like clockwise, it's like anti-clockwise. So this way you're going to, re if you do that, you're going to reinforce this side, you're going to reinforce a little bit of this side and every side would, would be reinforced. See, instead of just having one side only, if you look, you have this one, this little corner here will be reinforced, and then every single corner will be reinforced. And it just makes it a little bit sturdier, but it, it's really not a big deal. So instead of doing facing the same side, I just go kind of round like this, but that's preference. It's not really something you have to do. It's just me playing around with it. So I already have my paper here. I have my folding, my Martha Stewart. I have all the links below, guys, if you, if you need any of this. I actually clean mine. Mine was so dirty. So we're just going to fold because I'm going to show you the base is very quick and easy, but you have to do something different for the lid, which is very important, and I don't know how many times I forgot to do that. But I'll show you how, because you have to have the lid, has, it has to be a little bit wider, wider than the base, of course, because otherwise it will not close. You see here, the lid has to be just, just a tiny bit wider, because otherwise they would just clash like this and it would not close. So I will show you how to do that, okay? So we're going to score on four sides. You can do it, since I know it's one, I just go back one. It's 
faster so if I don't have to turn every time it's different for the lid though so we're going to score my scoring board here see very easy it's scored this is the simple one very fast we're just going to score it on all sides I always score before I cut because I think it makes it easier if you score later on in here now we're going to cut so what you do is let me just bring closer we're going to cut again I do it like this I just turn around and I cut it facing me so this one is going to go here this one is going to go to the next one but you can do sideways like this whatever you prefer but that's how I do it okay cut and again turn to my side cut again and I always cut the sides here a little bit because I do think it makes it easier instead of straight because and let me show you why because when you close the box look at this sometimes you're going to have this going over it didn't happen this time but sometimes it will be a little bit taller see here it's a little bit taller so if you cut the sides a little bit it's just a little sliver of paper like this and it looks more pointy instead of straight see it makes it's easier to fit the box and to, when you when you get to to the point when you're going to glue it so that's done that's done I'm just gonna do one more that's it so that's the basic base of the that's the base of the box right so now what you do is my favorite glue in the whole world especially for boxes because it's very very strong and so quick put too much so quick so quick to dry so you're going to make sure here's a detail you have to make sure that it's not see how fast it is it's already glued that's why I love about this box about this glue but I want to show you a detail and it's a mistake that sometimes I used to make so when you when you get to the point when you glue the side here make sure that there's always be careful to really align don't leave it like this you have to really align and to be perfectly straight like that so that's done just hold a little bit because this glue is very fast one more again make sure that get some extra and I'll show you how to strengthen this box because as you can see this this is a paper that's not very thick and I do that a lot I use like solid paper and then I play with the with the lid and I use some pattern paper on the top or the other way around you can you can do the lid on solid paper but that's it guys very easy see and what you do to reinforce I have two methods of doing this this is and this is let me show you why I don't like this method of making boxes if I can do it reinforced I always do because this way you see the paper do you see here let me just go a little closer do you see here you can see the paper sorry guys my computer died on me so I'm back and what I want to show you here is this is reinforced and I want to show you why I like this method better because do you see here that there's it doesn't show any paper and I did not need to add anything let me just show you closer here see there's no there's no you don't see any paper it looks perfect it, I didn't have to add anything so that's basically why I want to show the reinforced method okay so let's go back to our box as I was telling you you can reinforce by adding a strip of paper here and I usually what I do is I get one that is long enough this one is this box is three by three so I would get like a six inch 
and I would just fold it in half and I would glue it here. And the other way that you also reinforce a box is by just adding strips, which is a nice decoration feature too. Just add some strips to the side like this and it looks really nice. See? You can, add, you can add a square here too. So these are some ways, but now let me show you how to make the lid because the lid needs a little bit different thing to be. It has, as I told you, has to be wider. So here's what you do. On this scoring board, and that's why one of the reasons why I love it, it actually helps us. Do you see this mark here? This is actually for you to use on lids because that's as much as you need for it to be. If you make it too wide, much wider, it's going to be loose and it, it will be very hard to keep the lid on. So it, it really needs to be just a sliver. It's actually less. Do you see here? This is uh, one quarter, two quarters, three, sorry, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, one inch, right? So it's actually less than one of these here. It's less than one eighth. It's actually half of one eighth. Do you see? That's the mark for one eighth. Let me, let me go closer. Let me show you here. Just so you know the, the distance. That's one eighth, two eighths, right here of an inch. That's one quarter. So halfway, it's half of that. Just so you see that it's not really much. So we're going to score. So instead, the base I just scored on one, remember? Here, what you do is you're going to move the paper to that mark right here, see? And if you don't have a scoring board, guys, just use a, just use a, just a regular ruler like this. And what you do is you know that this is one. Oh, let me show you here. This one is shiny, so it's hard. So just get it's the one eighth mark and it's half of that and you just make sure that it's aligned but with the scoring board it's much easier so you just move it see that there is a this sliver of, of, of a distance here on the side and then you're going to score on one because it actually in the and also you <clears throat> you have to do every single side individually so again I moved it a little bit see on the side here there is a distance and it's right there and that's what I love about the scoring board because it gives you this guide and I do have a link to it if you're interested I have like an affiliate link with Amazon so if you want to support the channel there you go another one one and this is going to be you see how perfectly it will fit and there is something else that I do to the lid too that I'll show you You just learn these things by, I love making boxes, guys. I've been making boxes forever, and I love it. I just love to create boxes with matching, uh, like matching cards, and uh, sometimes I'm, I, even, I even make the bag, actually, the paper bag to go with it. So, again, let me just cut, and this side will be easier. Now I'm already going to do that side cut here to make it easier for me to glue. It's just a little bit just to make it easier later on for you guys. And to make sure that it doesn't show because sometimes it does show when you when you fold it. And you're going to see how perfect the size is. I'm going to glue it again. Is this too close for you? Maybe I should zoom out. I don't know. So again, a line here to make sure that it's straight. Just hold for a few seconds. Doesn't need much because this glue is fantastic. It's really fast. And it's strong, and that's why I use it on boxes a lot. But it is kind of pricey. So, there you go. So, you see the glue? I'll have the link for that, too. And I just want to show you. And then we're going to go to the second part of the video. When I show you the reinforced 
Again, align the side, always align it, make sure that it's not moving. And that's why it's good to have a fast drying, uh, some kind of fast drying glue, so you don't have to hold forever. I don't use dry adhesive usually for boxes, unless it's just for a video because it's faster. But, see? Now let's see if that's going to fit. Perfect. It's perfect fit here and I'm going to show you the last thing that I do with boxes especially when the side of the lid is the same it's the same height as the as the side of the base which it makes it hard you see to find the lower part here sometimes it's really hard you have to go ah, it's hard so what you do is you just get a one inch punch round punch and you just align it like this right in the middle and you just punch a little circle semicircle really there you go and now it's perfect it's much easier to open the door uh, the box because you have a place to put your fingers see the difference here there you go okay we're done let's go to the sa the second part of the video i'm going to zoom out and I'm going to teach you how to create the box with reinforcement, okay? Now let me show you the difference in terms of the paper and the size and where you cut between the difference between the first box, which is not the one that is just a lidded box, no reinforcement, like a simple one, and the reinforced one, okay? because I really want you to understand. It's very, very simple. Because all the, all the differences, let's say a square, okay? I'm going to do a square because square is always easier. Let's say you have a box here, three by three, I don't know, with one inch. That's the one that I just showed you. This is the basic one, right? And then you're going to cut here, cut here or here. I'll just do the simple one that's it that's the base and that's the lid the only difference is that the lid will be a little bit wider here you're going to score on each side a little bit wider right like that just a sliver <clears throat> it's actually 1 16th of an inch wider so that's the basic one <clears throat> the only difference between that and the reinforced is that the reinforced, and that's why I, I always tell you the limitation will be the size of the box and the size of the paper you have, is that instead of having just one cut here, you're going to have two. Because this is going to fold over this. So you're going to have double, so you have to have kind of, of course, a bigger paper. So you're going to have double on every side, right, like this. That's it. That's the only difference. And then I will show you the template. I have the template here. And what you're going to do then is you're going to cut the corner here, all these three squares on every single corner. You're going to cut. Get it out. We don't need it. Again, these three squares on the corner they're gone. And then see what you're left with? That's the basic template. Let me show you here. I actually have one made, so it makes it easier for you to understand. That's what it starts. Okay, so let me get this out of here. So you understand the only thing, the only difference is that you have one more um, stripe here to the side, depending on how, um, how tall your box is. So that's the only difference. And if you look at the template, here it is. You're going to cut a square or a rectangle, depending on the shape of, the, of your box. These are, this is the side. Instead of one, you're going to have two everywhere, of course, on all four sides. And then you're going to cut here. You're going to get rid of these, the corners, the three squares. After you do that, this is what you're going to be left with. And let me show you 
why I say it's reinforced and we're going to make a box from from scratch okay so here what you do is just like you did with the other one you're going to fold the sides but instead of just remember when we just glued here and that would be done and you would be left with this ugly thing showing you are actually going to fold this over and that's going to cover the side see and it's much and it's double the thickness so it's going to be reinforced so let's make one from scratch so you understand how to actually make it okay I already have here my object I'm going to make a box for this I already did the calculations of the sizes that I needed so let me just show you here again because you need to learn how to calculate you measure of course that's the height the width the size so that's all you need and I know that it's five and three quarters tall it's one and a half is more than enough to cover here see let me see if I find my yeah no no sorry two and a half is the width right here and the side is one and a half one and a half is more than enough so this means that you need a paper and this actually is a great example because since you're going to have something like this let me just draw it for you go closer there so you're going to always have two this this pen is not helping so two here so let me show you how to actually calculate the size so you know that and that's why this is a great example this one the height is five by three and a quarters here I know that it's one and a half one and a half because it's the same so all of these will be one and a half right they have to be the same this 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 because they have to be the same so five and three quarters so what you're going to have here is three it's just I'm just calculating the size this is where you're going to score but I need to know the size of the paper so three here plus three here that's six plus five and three quarters that's eleven and three quarters this is like almost the limit of my paper because my paper is twelve by twelve and that's usually the limitation you have you have to do something that will fit within twelve by twelve and if you need a bigger box then you do not do the reinforced one you just use those tricks that I taught you before okay because you will not have enough paper but for this one is perfect so here I need eleven and three quarters here I know that it's two and a half again three here three here plus two and a half that's six eight and a half so that's the size of the paper you need okay you're going to need a paper that is eleven and three quarters by eight and a half and that's how you calculate so let's get this beautiful paper cut. I don't want this video to be too long, but I really want you guys to learn. So let me zoom out again. So that's going to be <clears throat> 11, 3 quarters. So actually I'm just cutting. I am just going to cut one fourth of an inch 11 and three quarters that and by eight and a half right so here I am on eight and a half so that's done I'm going to do the same since I'm here with the lid because it's the same size so unless and sometimes you want to do that's the other thing you can do too is cut the lid a little bit shorter so you show the paper underneath that's another option that you can do just play around with it by eight and a half so that's done let's do the scoring since this is going to be the base I'm going to score that first 
because that's easier. It's straightforward. We know, let me get my paper again. We know that we need one and a half, one and a half, right? So here we are. Let me zoom in a little bit so you see what I'm doing. So we know that here it's going to be one and a half. So I'll just go up to three. That's one and a half again. You have to score twice on every single side. Turn it around. Same thing, one and a half by one and a half and three. Let me just accelerate the video. You don't need to see this. We're done with this. Let me show you how to score the lid, okay? Because I want to get all the scoring done. Again, it has to be wider. And otherwise, it will not close. So what I'm going to do is just move, even if your scoring board, if you have another one, doesn't have this mark here that Martha Stewart's does, you just know that it's half of one eighth of an inch, okay? So very easy to calculate, not complicated at all. You just moved it, you're going to do one and a half and three. Move again. So I'm finished now with the scoring. Let me zoom out now because we're going to put together this beautiful box. Get this scoring board out of here. Here we are, we have all the scoring done. We're going to remove the squares, right? Always this corner here. So, let me just show you. Sideways will be better, yeah. And that's why I score first too, because it makes it easier for you to see where the squares are. So, let's cut this. And then what you do is, you, you want this to be loose because this is what's folding and going inside. So you're going to facing, facing you, this is where the corner is you are going to cut this and I do that trick again I cut a little bit on the side because it is makes it easier to fold and glue gives you more wiggle room too there you go let me just I didn't cut perfectly here there's do you see let me just it's just at my my should have a bigger. So again, I'm going to do this again and then I'll accelerate the video, okay? So you're going to cut the three squares on the corner. Should have a bigger. I remember the first time I did this, I thought it was so complicated. So I'm not going to. But it's not. Once you learn, cut the corners. Three squares. All these things, they help you memorize. And again, see that the flap is facing this way, so the, the other one should be facing this way. Very easy. So I'll just cut here. Cut a little bit of this side. 
like that and that's it so one side is ready and then now I, I have another trick to teach you because you might run into this problem so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side okay Now just showing you, so the flap is facing that way, so the other one, don't cut here, okay? You can cut right there. Again, just a little bit of paper here on the side. It's something simple that makes a difference. Okay, so we have our box. Let me glue the box so you know, and <clears throat> I'm just going to the, the base. Uh, I will accelerate when I do the, the lid because it's the same. The scoring is different, but the, the way you do it is the same. And here, another problem that you might run into, depending on what you cut here, is that when you go, when you glue this, sometimes you, this part here that's going to fold, is a, it, it's kind of wide and sometimes you need to cut just a little bit here on the side to, just for, to fit perfectly, but usually it doesn't happen. If it does, you just cut a little bit to be, again, it's about the details, right? So what we do is we're going to first do the sides again, be careful with this, make sure that it's very, it's flush and very straight. You want this to look nice. What I do is I go with my bone folder. Let me just put this flap here, just so what you see what I'm doing, see? Just press with my bone folder for a few seconds, just to make it strong. I'm gonna do the other side now. I usually do one side first. So I turn it around, see if it's really, really straight here on the side. Align it really well. Go with your bone folder. Let me see if I can. Ah, okay. There you go. Go with the bone folder like this. And you go, oh, but it's showing. No, it will not show. And that's why I love this method. Because what you do now, let me just fold this like that because it's easier for you to see okay so do you see we have this and now what we do is we're going to fold this over make sure you have glue here especially here on the on the corners okay doesn't need to be much but look at this you see, that's how what it looks like the basic the basic way that I showed you, but now you have a paper folding over, which will not let you see. Use your bone folder just to make, especially the corners, to make it really sturdy. And now it looks perfect. See, and you even have this beautiful pattern showing. Look at that. It's totally different. It doesn't show the sides. See? And that's what I'm going to do on all sides here. So I'll do one more. And again, if you have a problem, sometimes when you when you turn it over, it's, it kind of it catches on the side. You just cut a little tiny bit, but don't cut much because otherwise it will show. So I'll use my bone folder here to make sure that it's strong but this glue is excellent so it really dries fast and now comes the moment of truth let's see if that bottle will fit I hope so because otherwise I have to redo this video and I certainly do not you know guys I do not like repeating videos when I make a mistake hasn't happened yet that I needed to redo a video but I I've always been like this when I was a journalist I could do I would love I can write like all day but do not ask me to rewrite something okay perfect so we'll add some glue here 
Okay, fold it over. Use your bone folder to make sure that it's really flat. Let me see if you, well, you can't see it really well, but you know what I'm doing. Look, and I, that's why I really, I use a lot of uh, pattern paper because it looks really nice. Look, because you actually have a pattern here. I don't know. It's, it's like stripes. So the last thing you're going to do is just, this see how this one is perfect too. I don't need to cut it. Sometimes you do. So add your glue, especially on the edges here. Fold it. It's easy, guys. You Once you make the first one, I remember the first time I learned how to make the reinforced box, I thought, mm, I don't know. I think this one I'm going to cut a little bit because I can tell that it's a little bit too wide. So just a little, just a tiny bit will be fine here too. Sometimes you have to do that. It, depend, it depends on, on how you cut the sides. And I think now would be perfect. But in this case here, you do not do, remember when I taught you how to cut a little bit on the sides, but not for the reinforcement. I mean, for the second layer, you don't do that. It's just for the flaps, really. So. Okay. Fold it over, and we're done with our box, guys. Ah, oh, look at that. So this is the base, but the top, I mean the lid, you're going to do the same way. So reinforce, reinforce, and our box is cute and done. See? And you're going to do the same with the lid. I'm not going to because it's repetitive. You can always... Now let's see the moment of truth. Oh, please fit. There you go. Perfect. You have a perfect box for your perfect gift. I hope you learned a lot today. A lot of tips for you. And here it is. So all you need now is to make the lid. And again, you can always... Some, what I do, especially when I use pattern paper, is I actually make the lid like halfway only. So instead of one inch, uh, this one was one and a half. So one and a half, I would do like one. And then you can see the pattern paper too. It's really cute. So guys, thank you so much for your time, for spending your time with me. I hope you learned a lot. And now you're ready to make boxes. Just give boxes away. Thank you so much and you have a good day, okay? Mm -hmm.